Pretty busy day over at Capital Metro that could ultimately affect your commute. Capital Metro's board of directors has been meeting today, and they have some big decisions to make. First, starting January 1st of 2012, lighting up a smoke at a Cap Metro bus stop will no longer be allowed. The smoke-free rule will also go into effect at Metro rail stations much sooner. Those go smoke-free starting September 1st of this year. That's also roughly the same time thousands of UT students head back to school. Of course, many of them will be riding Cap Metro buses. UT and Cat Metro reached a two-year agreement that will continue bus services for UT students. Some Cat Metro board members want Cat Metro's new CEO to work on securing more funding from UT for student bus services. Now, also today, board members approved a five-year, $228,000 a year contract with their new CEO, Linda Watson. Uh, I want the bus service, the paratransit service, the rail service that we provide to be absolutely the best uh, that this community can uh, offer. Now coming up at 6 o'clock tonight here, we'll hear from Ms. Watson, more from her, and let you know the three areas she says Cat Metro needs to work on in the coming months.